what I mean by a crowd is, is pretty much instead of you actually playing in the park game, you're sitting like in the stands and you're watching. So let's say your favorite YouTubers are in this tournament. You can sit in the stands and just watch it. Before I start this video, I'm going to ask you guys, uh, for those of you who are already subscribed, press the post notification button. I, I don't usually say that, but I know with YouTube now, uh, I kind of have to say that. So if you guys are subscribed already, press the post notifications. If you aren't subscribed, please do. And also press post notifications. Um, if you guys want to get followed back on Twitter, or Instagram, whatever, uh, here are my links right here. You guys follow me. I will most likely follow you back. If you send me a screenshot of you turning on post notifications, I will for sure follow you back. So as you guys know, I am an idea man. And I know a lot of you guys say that you want me to get hired by 2K. But then I thought to myself, NBA 2K doesn't look like they're trying to get any better. To be honest with you, it seems like they really don't care what we're talking about. That we're not going to buy the game, whatever. Because they kind of feel like we are going to do it anyways. And to be real with you, I probably am going to do it anyways. I decided I never made a video on NBA Live. So maybe if I make these videos on NBA Live, it will help out the community more. I don't know if Live will watch them and take these ideas into consideration. But if they do, Live, just letting you know, I live in Florida. So if you guys need me, I can come out to you, man. That's all I'm saying. But if we really think about the reasons why NBA Live can beat 2K this year, I think it's very simple. Let's put it into perspective of the terms of sports, right? Let's say, for example, you are a Utah Jazz fan and you guys have Donovan Mitchell, which is he can be the rookie of the year if Ben Simmons doesn't get it. But anyways, you guys look at this year as if you don't win a championship, it's not the end of the world. You guys make the playoffs pretty much Anywhere you guys get beyond the first round, you're overachieving because that team shouldn't have made the plus anyways. You lose Gordon Hayward and you get Donovan Mitchell, a rookie, and you guys still make it to the playoffs. That It would just be good for your franchise to make it to the playoffs. And I feel like this is the same way with NBA Live. They don't really have to beat 2K. They don't have to have the most sales. They just have to take a step forward to make a game that keeps us on live and not 2K. That is that really should not be that hard because if you think about it, people already don't like 2K. Like, let's keep it real. I don't want to say anything, but I might just have to say anything you put out that is a little bit entertaining. People would probably give it a shot over 2K. I mean, we have 2K YouTubers out here playing Fortnite. Not saying Fortnite is not fun. I mean, to me, it's not really that fun. But anyways, not saying it's not fun. But I mean, people are willing to try anything. To, to spite 2k because i mean anything that'll get 2k to, to realize hey man you're gonna lose money if you don't focus on your gameplay here if we're talking about in terms of a basketball game now when nba live came out with the demo i played it and you know i, I was kind of having fun it was a different experience i like the way that you can build your my player but it just felt so weird the animations weren't moving that like that well but the thing is is like I'm gonna keep it 100% with you guys live. If you guys just fix your animation, your graphics do not have to be better. If you guys fix your animations and make your game modes better, just instead of, you know, like your park mode, it looked it looked nice. You know, you guys were focused so much on cosmetics. You do not have to be 2K in the graphics department. It really is just putting out a more entertaining game. So if you, if you guys don't have the best graphics, but the game modes are better than 2K's game modes, which are not hard, once again, because they don't have very many. It's really just my team, my career. And I guess if you want to count Park as a, as a separate mode, then you count Park as a separate mode. But all three of those modes, I'm sure people would like to have a refresh button on all of them. And I mean, the same way that 2K steals ideas from you guys, you guys can steal those ideas right back. And I'm sure there would probably be no legal issues as long as you didn't name it the same thing. For those of you guys who are watching, let me know if you guys agree with my first two points. One, the fans want live to win. Two, I mean, you really don't have to make a better game. All you have to do is make one that's more entertaining. For example, um, NBA, what was the game called? Uh, NBA Playgrounds or whatever it was. I forgot what the name of it was. That game is nowhere near as good as 2K, but people were playing it because it was more entertaining than 2K. You don't necessarily have to make a better game. You just have to make a more entertaining game. So the graphics don't have to be better. 
and also my career wise you don't have to have the most the best looking body types you don't have to have the best cutscenes you don't even have to have any cutscenes period all you have to do is make the best play styles which means like the archetypes and literally just have the actual game mode itself be better if people want to play my career they can play my career but that park mode has to be a hit that's the only thing that you guys have to focus on and the and that will be a huge step i'm not saying the game will be better than 2k but that's a huge step you will definitely get a lot of fans because there's a lot of angry fans right now that are not going to buy 2k and will take a chance on you guys this is your best shot for you guys to take down 2k this year if we we're putting these companies in terms of people i would say that 2k is like the younger brother in the situation and live is like the older brother for this reason because usually in you know tv shows i'm not saying this is like you know like not everybody has the same situation but usually in tv shows the younger brother's like an overachiever who you know his parents are like oh why couldn't uh you be like your younger brother look at all this stuff that he's doing whatever the case is and you know live started off as the one that everybody you know was playing with and then 2k was like the underdog and stepped over live and now 2k kind of forgot where it came from and you know he's going to all these parties and letting his grades slip and this is live's chance this is live's chance to get its fans back because i know like a lot of people grew up playing live i grew up playing live and to be real with you i don't have any i'll play both but i don't have any problem dropping 2k for live if the game is better like as of right now, like all you have to do is make a more entertaining game. But if the game was better, oh yeah, I'm definitely going to play NBA Live. One thing that I know for a fact that park players have been asking for on 2K for the longest time is the ability to do park tournaments. And some people were even saying that there should be a crowd in the game. What I mean by a crowd is, it's pretty much instead of you actually playing in the park game, you're sitting like in the stands and you're watching. So let's say your favorite YouTubers are in this tournament. You can sit in the stands and just watch it. So pretty much just like a spectator type mode, kind of like how every single game has it like Fortnite, everything after you die, you can you can spectate the person. And they're playing park tournaments. It's pretty much like, you know, any, any real life tournament. And the team that wins, wins whatever was up for that tournament. So that right there is a game changer. Pretty much what I'm saying is, 2k starts off all of these ideas that could be something good but they never finish them off so if nba live was to just borrow the ideas finish them off name them something different put them into the game doesn't have to be the best graphics doesn't even have to be the best gameplay doesn't even have to have the best animations but if they do those game modes just make them a little bit better finish them off put them into the game i'm telling you this year would be a w for them. i i know a lot of you guys care about graphics but let's let's be real are all games really based on graphics like for example um i, I i've never played it before but uh pubg or whatever it's called um, those graphics look better than Fortnite's graphics. They have cars that you can drive, but Fortnite's more popular. Minecraft, the graphics on that game, I mean, obviously, you know, it's just a block game. Them, them jokes are waste, but people still play it. It's not all about graphics. It's all about what you can and cannot do on the game. GTA 5, best graphics, in my opinion, San Andreas, my city, that's the best GTA. Why? Because of all the stuff that you can do. So, if live was to literally just grab those game modes, borrow them, whatever you want to call them, steal them, finesse them, boom gang them, whatever you want to call it, if they just did that and redid them, finished them off, named them something different, I'm telling you, the game would go crazy. For my last point, I just want to clarify once again. I'm not saying that graphics don't matter, and I'm not saying that they don't need to focus on their graphics. But what I'm saying is, take it one step at a time. This year, get those game modes right. Next year, add more to those game modes, and maybe, you know, up your graphics just a little bit, work on your animations a little bit. But once you get the core of the game, which is those, those game modes, once you get the, the core of it right, then you can, you know, work on upscaling your graphics, getting your animations right. I mean, like, let's 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 be completely honest. Yes, 2K has the best graphics when it comes to the NBA game. Yes, 2K has the uh, the best animation. But I mean, EA, you guys do Madden, and those graphics look elite. You guys just aren't trying on live. I know you, I know you can do it, 
But I'm just saying, if you don't feel, you know, you guys have like a small team of people working on live, then, you know, work on the game modes first, then get your graphics going. But once again, I'm not gonna act like EA is some innocent company because they do indeed love money too. And the second that we let them ahead of 2K, they probably will do the same thing that 2K is doing. But that's, this is how the consumer market works. Once one person steps up, the other team has to work harder. So if live steps up, that means 2K has to step up. It's better for us. Worse for them because they, they have to compete. Better for us, we get better games. So, I mean, live, that's my advice to you guys. If you guys need me, I, I'm in Florida, man. I can drive to Orlando, get to you guys. You know, just DM me if you guys need me, man. I got I got the ideas for you guys, man. Whoa.